So at that stage, sorry, I'm going to be blunt. Okay, I mean, so look, I, I've got a lot within me and, and I wasn't even so connected, but if I'm given the opportunity on behalf of the public, I need to uh, be blunt and direct. So yeah, the hypocrisy was not, there was no hypocrisy at that time, uh, right at the beginning, right? No, none. It was all real. Everything you saw was real. I was genuinely happy and I was happy with my life so much that I wanted to give the public an insight into my life to show them that you can have fun in a marriage within the limits of the Sharia. You can have fun. Um, it is beautiful being in a halal marriage and not only that, but to Allah. So I wanted to show that to the public as much as I could and that was my goal. That's why we used to uh, record videos of us running and um, him singing nasheeds to me, things like this. So, yeah. So I noticed, I noticed, I'm just going to talk about myself yeah, noticing okay. something. Uh, I noticed over time that uh, right at the beginning, you were more alone in the videos. There came a time when your, I, I, I believe, ex-husband joined you on uh, a little bit more often. And then I'll be honest with you, the videos became sillier and sillier. I won't lie to you. I'm just, no. No, at times I'm, it's I'm cringy. So happy it's you know, very cringy. I'm so happy you noticed and you, you're highlighting this because what happened was I started my Instagram account and my only mistake was, when I married him, he was a humble, shy individual. I had to force him to come into the camera, um, force him to do videos with me, and that's how it was. But the ch I guess fame changed him, Instagram changed him, and I guess that's my fault because I introduced him to it, but I didn't think that would happen. So, so wait, wait, just hang on, hang on, hang on. When you say fame changed him, uh, he wasn't famous, was he? I mean, what was he famous for? Um, no, he wasn't famous. He was just uh, he was just a rocky, and he just when I when I first married him, he just used to sell. I started you know, the perfumes. He just used to sell that for a living, and he was just a simple man. And I was happy. So he was a simple him. man. Uh, he, was, he used to sell perfumes, and he was a rocky. Was he really a rocky? I mean, let's be honest here. Yeah, he was. And the thing is, before I married him, and during the first time I married him, he never used to charge for rokia. I actually forced him to charge for rokia because. I was struggling and I was pregnant at the time and he was he was different, he was so humble, he was so reserved, he didn't even know how to charge people, I had to teach him how to charge people, what to say. I even had to accompany him at the Rukia appointments to make sure he charged and he was compensated for his travel, his time. So he was a completely different person at that time and I was so happy in my marriage, I was so content with the little we were receiving that. I wanted to show that to the public that I'm happy. For example, I used to show things like I've never been on a honeymoon. We just used to go to walks in the park and that was enough for me. He doesn't buy me presents. He used to take, he used to get flowers from the trees and that was enough for me. But that was beautiful and he didn't used to buy me ice cream at times. He used to say, you know what, we'll give it to charity instead and Allah will give you something great in Jannah. And that was beautiful for me. That was what I used to share on Instagram. But then it started changing the, the numbers, you know, um, certain videos. So when we used to upload couple selfies, they used to get the most attention and he used to see that. So then he used to say to me, um, listen, you get more attention on the couple selfies, so why don't you always upload that? And I used to say, no, because this is my account. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You get more attention for what? The pictures that we have together and the really cheap uh -huh. ones. So, so I just a quick one. At, at what point did you actually become famous? What was the what was the turning point? Because you had a private Instagram, then you you made it public. What was the clip or the the, the video? Like I told you, the one I saw was the one on the uh, on the little uh, hover hover hoverboard or something. Um, there, uh, was, there were a number of videos that it went viral. Uh, the first one was his mahr to me. So part of my mahr was him uh, memorizing the surah, and then. The ultimate one was me being on the hoverboard and I think in Azdeh I was flying on the trolley. So all these kind of 